don't know why i feel like really nervous like you know like starting this recording because i think it's because i haven't really done a like recording like this in a while other than stuff for share albert story but anyway welcome uh to the reaction to the amazing digital circus episode three i was going to try and scroll no bs there um so the third episode just came out last night so i couldn't watch it on stream so i decided you know what i'll do a little recording of this and then i'll show it on stream later and go from there obviously again this from the glitch channel um it's worked from gooseworks as well make sure to also check out the link there too if you want to support them uh, via their merch drops because that's the best way to support um this an in independent animation studio again sorry i'm so i don't know why i'm so nervous it's just like usually i have chat here by the side like on the other side of the screen like um like saying stuff but it's like just me on my own now which is so weird um but yeah, I did think as well that I'm going to just record this because I do yap a lot whilst I'm streaming. So I was like, you know, let's see what it's like when I don't have chat this side of me. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get through this in a shorter bit of time. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Just needed to make sure as well that the audio levels were all good. So basically this is a VOD, but like not really a VOD. And I still will be pausing. <laughs> any longer. Sure you can. We can't <laughs> die from oxygen deprivation, remember? But it still feels like I'm gonna die. Try not Fair to think about it. Or you could toughen up. I want to see what your funny cartoon body does. Hey, take it easy. <laughs> oh, take it easy. That's you. All right. Guys, Jax is already... No, Jax, I, I made that joke too much last time. I can't keep saying that. Uh, but yeah, no straight into it as well. Um, I know it's... Okay, so Zubal doesn't have the square in her chest anymore. She has something else. Obviously, um, Gangle has like a smiling mask on until it's probably inevitably broken. Um, I guess right now what they're doing is just kind of stress testing. I know I'm literally naming the obvious, but yeah. Here I go. And she's actually getting into it a little bit as well. All right, we've entered the blue zone. <laughs> I even do hey, want to. Something new. Okay, we're getting red. Oh, <laughs> orange. Just... Yellow. Green. Whoa, look! Now she's turning blue! She's already <laughs> blue. Huh. Guess the hue shift just gets faster. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? Because something different she has a good to point. each person. For instance, Kinger starts glowing, Ragatha's hair noodles stick up, Gangle's mask starts spinning, <laughs> Zubal turns straight. My limbs straighten up. <laughs> what about you? He refuses to show us because he's a coward. Fair I enough. Keep the mystery alive. What do you, the viewers, think it is? Will you stop doing that? This, that kind of reminds me of a bit I did in one of the old um, bad reputation videos. Um, I can't remember which video it was in particular, but then I, I just went to like, and if you guys want to see more of this, make sure to leave a comment below and like. And then Jake was like, we don't do that, bro. We don't do that here. You know, jokingly as well. Like, and here's Kane just <laughs> blurring in from the side. Like, even though this is like the main hub, it's like nice that there's like a little new area here as well. Again, I'll make that Destiny joke that if this was Bungie, this is the most work they would do in an entire year. Like in terms of not reusing, well, reusing the background, but then adding a few new assets that are pulled out from the vault. Anyway, sorry. Why is everybody just standing around when there's adventure to be had? Because they're His training. The adventure is the mystery of Mildenhall Manor. The That's Halloween right. special. This big That's why I have the pumpkin on my head. Has been rumored to be filled to the brim with paranormal activity. It's up Wait, to. Hold on, sorry, I just need to see that again. Rumored to be filled to the brim with. Ah, I yeah, see. I knew I saw something in the middle there. Just a angry face on the mansion. Sorry again. Very obvious pointing things out, but you know, if I'm gonna react, I'm gonna do it right. Paranormal activity. Even if it just get monotonous and boring. It's up to you to solve the house. But then again, that's the whole point. If you don't like me pausing this all the time as well, go check out the video. You know, it's available now. Um, already nearly a million likes already, I just realized. And 9 million views, like 9.5 million views. It's also trending as well for gaming. I don't know why in particular for gaming, but it's trending on gaming, number two. It'll probably reach number one trending at some point. This is deep mysteries and capture all the ghoulish ghost activity you can. I, I was just gonna make I was just gonna, I was gonna say one thing and I thought phasmophobia but anyway it's just I know but um another thing I was just thinking there as well once again like I know we're already just a minute and f uh, fifty seconds into the 
what do we call it, into the episode, but again, animation, really good. Uh, this is the first time now I'm watching it, like, in 1080, because before on streams, I was watching it 720, because there's no point watching it in 1080, so, yeah, uh, for stream's sake, like. Um, other than that, I just remember there, actually, I should probably do a Phasmophobia stream. It'd be funny to do Phas with a uh, few people from stream, like, even if I can pull some friends into it as well for the moment of Halloween. Anyway, sorry. And for the first time ever, you can... Yes. Where's Zubal? I made this adventure really cool and uh, mature, just for them. <laughs> mature. <laughs> so is anybody going to... I'm not going to reverse that. But is anybody going to reverse that and hear what Bubble said? What? The NPCs <laughs> what? aren't going to become self-aware in this one, right? How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh, wait, yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, everybody into the fractal noise. It's adventuring time. The Zubo, like, is she always just, like, not going to be in these, like, only, like, the first one because it was in-house? I guess because she has a choice. Maybe, like... There could be, like, reasoning for that later on and why she just does not want to bother going on these adventures, like... Maybe, like, somebody else died before and she was, like, I don't know, very attached to them, like, and she just doesn't want to go back on the adventures because it reminds her of them, like... Just a game theory, though. Or a film theory, actually, at that point. Animation theory? I wonder how hard Kane's gonna go with the scare factor. I hope this adventure doesn't end up being another horrible nightmare. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of horror, and I don't really handle jump scares that well. Oh, <laughs> come on, that wasn't even scary. What? You scared of the vacuum cleaner too? Hey, be nice to her. She's had a rough couple of days. Her and everyone else. <laughs> her and everyone else. Does anybody hear that? Yes, laughing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ghostly, and I'll be your guide today. Why won't they go back in? <laughs> I remember my first wild take. I don't know why they're not retracting, though. That didn't this. happen for me. Before you continue on your adventure, Fair enough. you have to choose which door you're going to go through. The door on the left is the normal door. Rated. I was just going to say, um, I'm trying to remember if this ghost character was actually a part of the teaser video or not, or if this is just, like, one that they didn't show off. Because I know, what was it, um, the thumbnail for this, like, actually, I won't say it in case they don't put it in the thumbnail, but I probably will. Um, I'll just move on from that point, actually, because, I, I, again, we're watching this, like, for the first time. I'm watching this for the first time, so just, like, I don't know what to expect. That's why, like... I think with this, I'm probably not going to be pausing it as often because I'm actually more like invested with watching the story. But yeah, <laughs> rated wow for all ages. Wow for all ages. The door on the right is a really scary door. Rated ah! for mature souls <laughs> only. It's up to you to just just rated ah. Oh, why the jacks? What? I thought we were supposed to capture all the ghosts. Uh, I mean, he does have which a point. Door should we choose? Hmm, not oh, sure. Poor Pomni in the background there. Yes. Don't worry, Gangle. Wait, what? Oh, I, just, I didn't even realize. I was just saying Gangle was going to get their mask broken, but nope, they got to take it off them and thrown into the void for the monster's throw. Don't worry, Gangle. I'll get it for you. <laughs> and there's Pomni's eye. This. Oh, that's the scary door. Zerbo, so is a trick. Come on out. Oh! I just want to talk to you. I actually didn't think they were gonna go back to this oh, point. That <laughs> just. Could you have done that the whole time? Zubal, I, I just want to get to the bottom of why you keep skipping all my amazing adventures. You could end up really hurting Bubbles' feelings. <laughs> Bubbles' feelings? <laughs> Enough about Bubbles' feelings. <laughs> not not his no, feelings. Bubbles' your feelings. feelings. <laughs> Therapy I... session. So what's on your mind, Zubal? I would rather not. <laughs> That's hilarious. Go on. No, I mean, I've already told you what my problem is. You just never remember because... Oh, never mind. My mind is a piece of polished us. coconut. Nothing ever escapes these cakes. So what can I do to make my adventures more <laughs> appealing to you? See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. All you're thinking about is your adventures. It has nothing to do with the adventures. It's more just 
Ugh, forget it. Just say it. Not even listening. Zubal, look at it's just, it is a bit annoying now. It's like, come on, just tell us. You know, like, it's literally kind of teasing us, like, to why she won't do it. I was literally just talking about that as well, but she won't do a thing. And then Kane's just like, I've drawn a bee. <laughs> I actually kind of want to save that real quick. Hold on. Um, just let me take a quick screenshot of that and save it into a folder. Just for, no, like, out of context. Like, right. Anyway, sorry. Back into it. This cool bee I drew. It is cool, though. Before Zubal, like, just not being listened to at all. Oh, uh, is Pomni's eyes fixed? Oh, they are. Where are we? Oh, that's, uh... That's all their heads. Oh, that's... No. Yeah. Wait, who's that, then? That's not Kofmo, is it? Is King I wonder what this thing is. Oh, not even King or knows. <laughs> My name is Baron Theodore Milton Hall. Oh, the that tape player was actually teased in the um little ad after episode one premiered. I, I do remember that. That this is meant to be a character in this anyway. Hunting has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can remember. Although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. Mm -hmm. The creature you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not quite a man, but not quite an animal. Something huh. unholy. Something There's Ragatha. I took it upon myself to spend every waking moment doing all I could to protect my family from the creature, hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, I would be freed from this awful feeling, this inescapable dread. I was wrong. Uh-oh. You know, I'm starting to think... Oh, what's, what's How happening How about to we him? try to find a way back up to the others I just realized I don't know why I just remember there like I remember in the last episode I think it was Jax or Ragatha was just saying like um or no it was a Gango was saying like why does Pomni miss all the big monsters or big goopy monsters so I wonder if that if that's gonna happen again like but then again that door was technically a big monster well not really Com comparatively to the other ones anyway so and I'm not gonna lie I looked over to OBS I keep looking over, I think, because I keep expecting to see chat there, but it's just me, and it's so weird. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Okay, cool. That's great. I love these adventures. Close the door and then reopen it, and maybe it'll be something different. Always ride this thing, you <laughs> It's locked. It's locked. Of course, it's locked. I love that it's locked. Poor Pomni. Again, I think that's why, like, her and um, Jax are, like, Tuesday, two favorites. Although <laughs> I shot the creature multiple times Even Kinger's just like, hey, I didn't mean it. Head to keep a surprise on my wall. My troubles were just beginning. I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute. And when I looked back, the body was gone. Oh. The creature was not dead. And it would be back to reclaim what I'd taken from it. Kinger looks if really invested. Listening to this, all I ask of you is one thing. Do not let the head out of your sight. You have been warned. Wow. This is some rather inconvenient lore placement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's dark. And this is some oh, this is... inconvenient darkness. That's so cool, like, that they actually... This looks like it's a 2D art style rather than the 3D. That must have been fun for them to like switch up the style a little bit, like. Uh, what was that? Was that you? No. Oh, wait. You mean me grabbing you right now? Yeah, that was me. Is this your hand? Uh, uh that's my eye. Yes, but which eye? I really don't think that matters. Will you stop touching my eye? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes. <laughs> ah, what happened? I just remembered a really funny joke. A <laughs> Why did you scream then? Maybe it wasn't actually that funny. I love how like expressive this I is, even though they're just eyes. We should hold on to each other and slowly make our way back into the trophy room. Uh, sounds fine to me. And then they just make it out with something else as well, or they loop around. What was that? What's what? That? Uh oh. It's probably just magnets <laughs> or a boat. A boat? Whatever the case. 
I think we should be completely quiet. I... Okay, yeah, I agree. You know, you're really hit and miss with these things sometimes. Oh, there's a fly. Wait. There's a fly in here. Don't you think that's making a lot of noise? Oh, God, there is a fly. And <laughs> gotcha. I think I got him. I can't see my hands. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't expecting that to be, like, so frightening looking. Holy. Speak up, I couldn't quite make that out. Thank <laughs> you, speak up. Tommy, I think this might be the creature from the tapes. <laughs> Oh, all the eyes on the inside. You look beautiful, honey. Got it. Come on! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, oh, yeah. Prepare for takeoff, because this boat is going up. And it'll probably go down. Huh? It's not up. It's not up at all. Why are we going up? This <laughs> Do I mean, at least they're away from it. To torture my guests. <laughs> the torment I inflict is 100% accidental, like any good war criminal. <laughs> we weren't even talking about that. I really couldn't give less of a crap about the adventures. Then what is your problem, Zubal? I'm trying my best to remember, but both you and my brain won't tell me. It's me, remember? I don't like myself. I hate this body. I hate all these stupid removable pieces. I just want to find something that feels good. Oh, yeah. Now I remember why I couldn't remember. It's because that problem is already solved. Yes. Just swap out your undesirable Zubal parts for better ones. <laughs> I've been trying to find parts I like since the day I got here. So, back to the adventures. Forget it. Forget it? Just forget it. Forget what? Kane, nobody likes your stupid adventures. Ha <laughs> ha, good one, Zubal. Ragatha's just too nice to say anything. Jax just likes to fuck with everybody. <laughs> Gangle's too shy to speak up. Kinger's insane. And, and Pomni, she looks traumatized every time she comes back from one. Oh, Zubal. That's a fair Zubal, point. Zubal, making adventures is my art. It's all I exist to do. All I'm good at. And, uh, what you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> uh, uh, uh -oh. That'd be... I think uh, she's doing it now. Session is this again? Oh, yeah! We need to get to the bottom of your behavioral issues. I'm gonna show you some ink blots, and you're gonna say the first word that comes to your mind. So, it looks like... I guess, like, now that she mentioned that, it's just, like, if she tries to break him out of, like, what he's... Because if Kane is an AI, like the theory suggests, then, like, that was basically, like, the AI nearly pushing itself too far to think outside of what it's meant to do, and then he just kind of reset back, like, a few minutes ago, so he wouldn't uh, break, and the whole thing wouldn't break with him. Oh, wait, whoa. I didn't... I just... Hold on, I noticed something there. I swear I noticed something in the middle of all that. Okay, maybe I'll just Show go back a bit. Hold on. Lots, and you're gonna say the first word I'll pause it the moment mind. I see it. <laughs> Kane. Oh, ne never mind. Maybe I didn't notice some. Or maybe I blinked when it happened. Like... Okay, they were not going that fast. Uh, oh, God. Where are we now? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm the way his eyes just took it to the ground, like... Uh -huh. That's uh Things have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. <laughs> theoretical Something children. Every shadow, every noise. I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect her. Oh, King actually looks sad. I ended up there. becoming the monster myself. Now I wait down in my cellar, 
no longer having anything to protect but my own soul. If nothing else, I will slay the beast that took Damn. everything from me. They really me. did turn up the creep factor in this a lot. How's about we take his gun? Yes, protect <laughs> me. Kinger with a shotgun question mark? Please don't come on me. Okay, I won't. <laughs> okay, I won't. Looks like we've got two shots. Let's make them count. Uh, yeah. Kanger, can you point Stay that at me real quick just to see what happens? Oh, the... Looks like the creature's body, question mark. Yeah. So they literally have two shots. It's either the creature's... Well, they have to get the creature's body and the creature's head. Just leave it to me. I can handle this. I doubt well, that's the end of that. <laughs> Imagine so bad. You, you never say that Which when something like that happens. Which is what I would if I didn't know that the creature was actually one of God's angels. Well, oh. And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. <laughs> I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the Hall of the Damned, and your bodies will be my only means of doing so. Fair enough. Now wait, how did he record this if he was in hell? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're ready. Because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. Let go of me! Damn. I hate this definite This, <laughs> they're just chilling there, like not even looking mm, for a thing. Like, see. sorry again, for King or and killing you and everything. Oh, you know how men are. Always <laughs> the silliest priorities. <laughs> you know how men are. Just casually kill. Oh my god, they if have jacks. <laughs> him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 57 second story into a Greek tragedy. <laughs> well, I ask them next time I see him. Thanks again for the tea. I had a really nice time here. <laughs> Don't mention it. Feel free to visit anytime. Definitely. For her. She actually seemed like a nice person. Congratulations, my little ironclad waffle cones. <laughs> You've taken the pacifist route, and you should be proud of what good people you are. This is just we disappointed. Still need to wait until your other teammates finish their adventure before I can grant you permission to leave. I wonder how long that'll be. Probably a while. Not really typical of what you'd think hell would be. I was just going to say that as well, are Kinger. literally in hell right now. Hell! Of course I'd be in hell. How could I not be in literal hell right now? Just try to stay calm. I'm sure Kane included a way to escape. I mean, yeah, he would have, like. Hall of the Damned. I could barely Hold read on. that myself. Oh, yeah. Let me try something. <laughs> he just throws one of his eyes. Hey. There's actually a staircase down there. It could be a way out. Maybe it'll work for us since we still have our bodies? Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Wait, Pommy! Oh, yep, there she goes. Oh, Jesus. Honestly, all these, like, I just, I keep thinking now with all the horror stuff in this that how all the, um, all those, like, kids' channels that use, um, the amazing digital circus characters and made them horrifying, they're like, wait, we predicted this? <laughs> just, you know. Sorry. Hey, you get out of here, you damn evil souls! Oh, damn, that was a personal sounding one. You all right there? No. 
Was it no? I'm guessing the souls are attracted to living things. Just want a vessel to be able to leave with. Man. Seven so. years of computer science for this, huh? huh. Why? Wait, what? Every day I spend here is one nightmare after the next. I knew it would end up like this. He, he just wants me to suffer. I really am in hell. Don't say that. You're not in... Well, <laughs> yeah, you're not in... Technically in... Forget about that. How about we just relax for a bit while nothing's chasing us? You know, honestly, Kinger's being, like, very, um... <laughs> He's being very sweet and like more um not consistent. Um well yeah, no, consistent with like his speech and like his thought pattern as well. Like he actually seems like decent and like even during this he's been kind of um different because every one of those tapes he's listening to them and then even the spirits mentioning like how's your wife like because obviously if there's the king piece, there's gonna be the queen piece somewhere, but that probably happened at some point in the past, I'm going to assume, and that's why he's so like yeah, he's like mind broken. <laughs> That's probably the wrong term. We're we're going into hate anime territory there, but anyway. It was my fault we went down this path, wasn't it? I'm really sorry for that. Why have you been acting so different lately? <laughs> I have, haven't I? I'm normally not too good with memories. But being surrounded by darkness always Brings me back to a certain time. Flashback? Right after my wife oh. had oh. abstracted. Oh, I don't yeah. recall the exact string of events, but we both ended up in the fort together. And it was dark. The darkness seemed to calm her down a bit. The harsh, jagged edges smoothed out, and she didn't seem aggravated anymore. She wasn't the same as before, but she was calm enough to touch one last time before she got sent to the cellar. Aww. I'm always taken back to that moment when engulfed in darkness. You had a wife? Like, here in the circus? Yeah. She was funny, creative, really into entomology. I used to hate bugs, but she somehow got me to like them. It's not the most cheerful memory, but it's one I at least have control over. I know how I can feel in this circus. Sometimes it all just feels pointless. Yeah. But it's not. Not if you have people who care about you. Good memories can do a lot. Hold on to them. And cherish the people around you. You never know when they'll be gone. True, yeah. Just like with this world, the stuff. worst thing you can do is make someone think they're not wanted or loved. I'm glad you're here with me. Sorry, again, I know, like, literally, I kind of just let that play out as well. Like, again, that's what I meant by, like, getting absorbed into it. If I was, like, here of chat, I'd probably be, like, doing that every two seconds and then speaking, like, the chat, like. But no, I, I do like that. You know, I've like, been thinking happening. about that last tape. He said, the next breath you take down there will be your last. Maybe we can get through if we don't breathe. Ah, uh, yep, it's foreshadowing to holding very breath. good at Holding my breath. Well, how about we try not thinking about it? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of your only choice here. We leave and we go back to the circus. You're just going to go back to being crazy. You're not going to remember any of this, are you? Don't worry about me. As long as you remember it, things will be okay. Oh. You're very strong, Pommy. And I know you'll be able to get through this. Just hold on to me. We'll get through it together. Fuck, man, this is actually really yeah. sad, like. Oh, and the banger soundtrack piece again, like. God, 
god, it is really sad though that he's just not going to remember like uh, like any of it. Oh, <laughs> there's Kinger lighting up the way. Again, I love when they use points like that and it actually ties back in, like. Oh, Pomni, Kinger! Are you guys okay? Was it scary? I'm fine, actually. What happened up here? <laughs> what happened up here? Uh, don't worry about that. Pomni was very brave. At least I think she was. Were you? Something like that. <laughs> hey. Ragatha. Yeah? I just want to say thanks for always being concerned about me. I feel like through everything, I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Uh, oh, thank you, Pomni. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. You know, we care about you. Did you <laughs> Jack's in the back just like... Mask? <laughs> I'm just starting to wonder why <laughs> no, Kate's getting the was therapy. even a real direction at all. Whoopsie daisy! Hold on. And, and now I'm, I'm just starting to wonder if the Wild West was even a real direction at all. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy! Looks like everybody completed the adventure and they're coming home. Quick, pretend we weren't having a therapy session. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. Wait, actually, hold on. I need to see what Zubal had um on her notepad. A therapy session. Okay. Oh, it's so blurry. I can't really make out what's on it. But then again, I probably I, they're like there's probably other people that are way more um talented that could break down whatever's on that anyway. So uh, just in case anybody wanted to see it, there it is. Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids. Meowing milkmaids? Don't ever call us that again. I was thinking that as well, Jax. <laughs> so what was it like being stuck with the nutcase? It wasn't that bad, actually. <laughs> Jax is just like, what? He is so disappointed. Like, ever since, like, the end of episode two, he's just been so disappointed a lot of the time. Like... Ah, yeah, no, that that was a good episode. I'll, I'll let, like, the credits play out, because I think it's, you know, like, obviously they need, like, the, um, what you call it? After doing all this work, like, it's n the least I could do for them, like. And again, oh, wait, then, never mind, there, there it is. Go to this. Oh, is that, that looked like a Nezobori. Is that actually a Nezobori? That's so cool. Oh, new plush, obviously, a notebook as well. I was probably sized listening last time, or did I just not notice? Nah, yeah, that that was honestly a really good episode. Um, again, I think like. So, if I'm thinking back on the other episodes, obviously episode one be kind of centered on Pomni because, like, she's just the new addition to the group. Uh, when it comes to episode two, that was kind of like, I guess, like, it was Pomni again, but she was mainly looking at, um, whatchamacallit, like, basically looking at other characters in the show. So, like, the Gamagoo uh, and how, like, um, like how their AIs and stuff and how that kind of will play into the story. And then this episode, I feel like was definitely a Kinger kind of centered one. And I thought like, yeah, no, like it was kind of nice. Like, I think I already theorized that like about him, like literally as we were watching the episode that he probably had like a wife that was probably like a queen piece or something like that. I don't know if it actually was a queen piece, but he definitely had a wife now that we know that from the show itself. And um, no, it's really cool as well. Just seeing, so like Jack's kind of like, for some people, showing a different side of being an asshole. In this one, like, uh, Kinger was showing a different side that actually, like, it, when he's in darkness, he's actually not a nut job. He's actually, like, um, really sound and, like, understanding and all that sort of stuff. Even uh, Kane and Zubal there a little bit actually got a bit of story. Uh, Ragatha and um, Gangle, I don't think, got much. They kind of got, obviously, joke uh, lines thrown out for the last three episodes, but I feel like they're coming up next. Like, if anything else, they'll probably be the next characters that are kind of explored in their backgrounds. Like, why Ragatha is so nice 
uh, to Pomni, like what was her past experience that's leading her to that? Like, is it someone that abstracted that she was close with as well, or was it just like some other reason? Like, and um, even just like Kane there, like when he was talking to Zubal and how like um, you know, he was thinking, well, if I'm bad at the Avengers, and then the whole place is about to glitch down. But obviously, something kicked in, and it's like again, if he's an AI kicked in and is like programming that said no you can't do this uh, reverse back a few minutes before you like basically destroy the whole place and um obviously with Zubal it's like she's just not comfortable in her body like I think that's a thing that's prominent like for a lot of young women out there um even like people that I know that are older than me they're still not comfortable with their own body they feel like they have to thin down and it's like like, I've seen them in person, I'm like, you're literally skinnier than me, like, what are you fucking on about? And that, that's not to say I'm massive or anything myself, like, I'm decent enough myself. Um, But they're, like, skinny, and I feel like if they got even skinnier, like, they'd be borderlining the, like, under, um, underweight, like, kind of, well, not the underweight category, but, like, you know, they'd be on their way there, and it's just not a good mindset to have, and especially when you're not comfortable within your own body, so Zubal, like, even though Kane was like, oh, yeah, you have all these customizable parts, but it's like, she's still kind of not really happy being a customizable, like, character. So, like, I guess, if anything, for her case, it'd be more like she'd wish she got, like... If there was an adventure for her where she could get a new body, she probably would do that. I mean, this adventure probably would have suited her if, like... um, It would have been interesting to see, like, what would have happened if she knew that there was body-swapping stuff in this, potentially. So, yeah. And, um... Yeah, I think that's it. I think I've covered all the points from that. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, reaction video. Again, make sure to check out The Amazing Digital Circuits, Episode 3. The Mystery of Mild, uh, Mild, 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 Mild Hall Manor? Sorry, again, I like Kane pronounced it there at the start and I've already forgotten it. Um, again, it's on the Glitch channel. That's at Glitch on YouTube. And it's also available on Netflix as well. I know, again, sounds like an ad read. But I just want to make sure, like, if I'm reacting to content, that I'm clearly crediting the original content that I'm looking at. And uh, yeah, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll uh, see you later on stream.